Hello everybody, welcome to Mastering Solutions where we are taking the stress out of science classes. This question says we have a glider attached to a spring and we push that spring in and then we release it and then they tell us what is the spring constant. So let's make a list real quick of what we know. We know the mass of the glider is 160 grams or 0 0.16 kilograms. They tell us the delta x or how far we push it in, the spring, is 8.4 centimeters, which is 0 0.084 meters. And then they also give us the number of oscillations and how many, um, how much time it takes to do those. So we can find either T or F. Remember T is equal to the amount of time that it takes or the change in time over the number of oscillations and frequency is the number of oscillations in a given set time. So I'm going to find frequency because it's going to save us a little algebra step later on. We can use either T or F to figure out K and you'll see how in just a second. So frequency is equal to the number of oscillations which they say is 10 oscillations in 10.5 seconds and that is going to give us a frequency of 0 0.9524 hertz. Okay, so now the all of the equations that I've gotten um, for these problems and other problems are all in the chapter summary in your book. So they tell us, um, actually let me back up a second, I'm gonna write K with a question mark. So this is what we're looking for. So what I did is I went to the, the equations and I found all the equations that had K in it. And then I said, okay, with that's what I wanted to solve and those are the equations I've given, which of those has everything that I've been given except for K? And so two that I can use are frequency is equal to one over two pi times the square root of K over m, or I can use the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of m over k. So this is where I was talking about earlier that we can use either of these t or f to solve for k here. And like I said, I'm going to use the frequency just because it saves an, a step in the algebra. So now let's use this one and come over here and let's solve for k. So now if I multiply both sides by 2 pi, now the 2 pi cancels. So now we're left with 2 pi times the frequency is equal to the square root of k over m. So now we'll square both sides of the equation So now we have 2 pi over uh, times frequency squared is equal to k divided by m. Now we multiply both sides by m, and this is a step where I was talking about if we used period, we would have had to multiply both sides by k and then divide stuff over. So I just did it this way, so it was a little quicker. So now the m's cancel, and we have the mass times 2 pi f squared is equal to the spring constant k. Let's write it over here. All right, so now let's scroll down and plug all of our values in. So k is equal to the mass, which we said was 0 0.16 kilograms, times 2 pi times the frequency, which we said was 0 0.9524, so 0 0.9524 hertz. And all of that gets squared, and that is equal to K. So when we do that, the calculator will give us 5.7295 newtons per meter, which we'll round to 5.7 newtons per meter. If you found this video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll be coming out with more of your homework solutions every week. Thanks for watching.